So to set the camera up, you'll first need to insert the SD card. And to do this, I would first remove, if you haven't already, the battery arm. So the, the battery's in the, the right hand arm. So you just disconnect this from the glasses. So, and then the SD card will need to be inserted in that slot. Now the reason I say to take the battery out is because as you're putting the card in, you'll end up touching the sensor here. It will try and start recording and if there is no SD card in at the time it will just continuously vibrate to tell you you can't detect a card. Um, so you just slide in the card into that, that slot. It's not the easiest to show you on a video. Let me try and focus there. Um, it just pushes in place. And then I normally use the tweezers. Just push it all the way down until it stops. So it's just a tiny bit of the card, just sticking up just, just there. Once that's done, you can then put the battery side back on again. So to do this, make sure you line it up correctly. And you're closing that gap there. So I put my thumb underneath, put pressure down on the battery until it clicks in place like that. And when the arm is fully open, you'll see that there's no there's no gap showing. Right, starting the recording then. So to start the recording, there's a sensor on the glasses, and it's difficult to know exactly where, but it's about here. Um, you'll get used to get used to where it is and I suggest what you do you actually slide your finger along starting at the top there hold it in place and then you feel a one vibration and you can confirm it started recording because a little green light will start flashing to stop it recording the same again hold it for three seconds it's time you get two vibrations, then light goes out. I'll try and repeat that again. It's not the easiest when it's on the table, but the reason I do it on the table is because you'll hear it vibrate then. So if I put my finger, I think it's around there. Yeah, it's quite quiet. So you get a single vibrate for when it starts recording, and green solid light followed by flashing, and then. vibrations when it stops recording. Now you might want to cover the the green lights up. Most of the time you won't be able to see it. If you're thinking about filming in dark conditions then you, you might end up seeing the uh, the light. It is, some ways it's nice to know that it's recording um, but like I say it, in, in a dark environment it might give it away but if we just put some black tape on there um, then when, when it does start recording, you won't be able to see it because the, uh, the tape blocks it out, so it won't give it away. It's sort of like I say, in some ways it is nice to have the, the green light there because then you can you can confirm that whilst it's flashing away, it is recording. Uh, when there is no light, it's not recording. But like I say, it could give the game away to someone who's uh, who's suspicious.